Welcome back to Indica Live, man. It's your boy DJ Ball, man. Brought to you by the Black Market. Welcome back to Indica Live, man. Episode fucking 128. <laughs> Tonight, man, we got a full cast. We got everybody out here, man. Love back with us. We got Kayla back with us. Fabo joining us again. D gonna co-host with me today. We got Tori is back. Welcome back, Tori. Hey guys. Oh, back. I'm hyped up today. We ain't seen you since right. your party. <laughs> party was lit. <laughs> Hella lit. Man. Letty. It's like Vegas. The party was like Vegas. What happens at the party stays mm. at the party. Right, y'all? Right. Yeah. Right. right. And on my phone. Yeah. I was and, and on your phone. And in my phone. Hey. It's gonna stay in my phone. Water, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's love. What up, Fabo? Welcome back, brother. What's good, bro? How you doing? Southern perspective in the building, man. Yeah, man. Introduce Your yourself to the people again, one time, for the one time. Once again, man. How y'all doing, man? I um, love it. I love to see you here. <laughs> I love to see you Big here. Crit. I love to be here, man. Big I was crit. just saying that earlier. I like coming in here on Thursday because I get to see my friends. <laughs> that part. It's all about the fellowship. Like, why you look all sad when you said it, yeah, man? Because it be I like that. I out there in the week, bro. I just like <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, and shit. Why you bullshitting? I don't think I none of us come out. and socialize. And to Thursday. We don't come out till Thursday. Well, we appreciate it. This is this. You know you're getting older when Thursday your night now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what up, love? Welcome back, brother. What's up, man? Cool ass, yeah, man. Man, well, welcome, welcome back, brother. I'm just here, man. You're here, just here to kick it. You gonna vibe with us tonight? Yes, sir. Man, appreciate you pulling up. We can use your perspective, Wait, brother. Snapping that towel. Yeah, man. But speaking of yeah. being outside together, we need to do more activities. So we talk about hiking. Yeah, hiking. Y'all talking yeah. About oh, no, yeah, because y'all did yoga on yoga Saturday. Like I got sick of cell trait. Can't go up that high. <laughs> uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> Nigga say anything to of get out of doing something. I can't. No, nah. for real, the doctor, I got sick. Doctor said I got a backyotomy. What's up, Kayla? Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back, G. Oh, look, I love it here. Like, same with Fabo. Like, Thursday's my new favorite night. I love the fellowship. <laughs> and, nah, Smokey Oki is my new favorite thing. Oh, so yeah. I hope everybody yeah. got their set list for tonight. You got Smokey Oki. I'm looking forward to that. You got your, you got your song list in your head already? Yeah, I already know what I'm starting out with. Damn right. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. That's how you know people do karaoke for real. And they like, I know for I'm going to fuck them yeah. up tonight. Nah, y'all don't put me on. Like, I ain't even really fuck with karaoke like that beforehand. Yeah, but y'all yeah. don't put me on. You just need the right people. That's Smokey all. Smokey Oki. You know what I'm saying? Smokey Oki. So we're going to have a good time tonight, man. Smokey Oki in the Man, brought to you by In the Cut. How we feeling tonight? Good. All right, so tonight's episode is entitled "You're Doing Too Much." Yes. Period. You're doing too much. Lick so we're gonna go through some scenarios real quick, man. We're gonna have a fun show. We're gonna get through it fast tonight. And um, the question is, I'm gonna run through five scenarios with y'all. I'm gonna ask y'all, are they doing too much? And what would you do in that situation? You know what I'm saying? First scenario: trending topics. Recently, a wife was on her deathbed and she is dying, and she asked her husband. Could she have sex with her ex one more time before she died? Bitch. Is she doing too much? <laughs> you bitch. I mean, bitch. she she finna kick the bucket anyway. She might as well, <laughs> it is her last might well get it out the way. You feel me? I mean, yeah, I mean, hey, I feel like that's some bucket list shit. You gonna hurt at the end of the day. So, like, you finna go. You're the husband. Why the hell you what, had... what is it going through your mind right now? You the husband. She trying to get everything out the way before she kicked the bucket. She just wanted so some dicks on her bucket list. She agreed. might want to go skydiving too. Hell, go. I'm gonna take down. her to do that. Okay, <laughs> skydiving is one thing, but dick, we talking about dick. Hey man, man. does she want to do? Go for it, baby. For you finna well, die, baby. Hold on now. We talking wish. about so death bed. You with it? It's your dying wish, baby. Fuck it. Why not? Ah, yeah. Good for her. But you gotta stay right there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put myself in the shoes of it's my husband, husband okay, whatever. Yeah, and they, you know what that does? Change it a little bit. But uh, <laughs> no, but let's be real. Like, if we, it depends on the situation. He okay. got cancer. What if y'all, y'all got a good marriage? Everything cool. Mm. But he's just like, I just missed that. Uh, I don't know. I Coochie mean, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get your ass. Uh, uh, you know, now that, now, okay. I'm dying. It's, kind of, it's kind, of, kind of like, well, what if they just like, hey, before I die, I want to have a threesome. You feel like, Type shit. Yeah. Like, just, 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 for real. Maybe it might want to make I think I would be more. If, if you want to go out and get some outside something that's yeah. different, but the fact that you specified there which you one, go. that's what got me a little like, uh. Now what we, you like been we like but this. We like this. But it's okay. You about to die. Like this. It's, it's easier like, like this. I ain't got to go find Hold nobody. On. Okay, love. I got love. For you. So does that mean if this is her request, her one fucking request before mm-hmm. she leaves this earth? She always been longing for it? She always been wanting every time she has sex. Now you're thinking, brother. It don't matter. It don't matter if that's all the way Oh, it matter. She died. Hold on now. Let me just put in a little Hold on, Toy. What Toy got to say? She was with me. She really wanted to be with dude. Come on. Oh, she's she finna kick the bucket. Oh, we already man. know where she finna go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they going to hell. Right? <laughs> she going to hell. No, because y'all married. Y'all married. I'm still married to death. Do we fall? 
what you thought was happening. But, but so, hey, okay. you know, she if, if, if he leave me all that, that money, if he leave me all the money, <laughs> she gonna and want a little oh bit of twat. My girl wants the bread. <laughs> she so, so, so you willing to negotiate? <laughs> Uh, you willing to negotiate the wheel? Basically, like if you do this, I'm gonna need. Yeah, because need otherwise we need a divorce. I let that. him get a oh, make a wow. wish type. That's but it's wild, just the Why the eggs? That's already. Do Me us and part. you will never part. part. But that's death do us right? part. Like, that is yeah. that is yeah. not breaking yeah. a vow. No. I might fuck no. around, no. put no. a plug no. on you. If you ask permission, you don't. That's not vow breaking. No, for real though. Think about it though. If you ask me, the seat is where. Things come into right. play. You and might pull the plug. And that's why I was saying when, when they was like she always wanted to do it, it yeah. was like even though she she may have always wanted to do it, but if she never did it, yeah. you feel me? She and then she on it. her deathbed, she like, babe. But first right? things first. Like, I, is, I, I know I I've been I've been Mitch, faithful this whole time, baby. If she asked permission but, the last but, time, then well, yes, she never mentally, did it because otherwise no, she wouldn't mentally, have no, she never needed no. permission. Think about if it. If she would do it the first time. Okay, your ex is calling you. Uncle Buggy, what tell me? So it's a no it's a no for boogie. It's a no for boogie. I'm okay. Love gonna put the juices in her for It's a hell no for you. It's a hell no for you, Kayla. If it's if it's something anybody but the ex. Anybody but the ex. Anybody but so the ex. So you willing to negotiate? It depends. Yeah. yeah. It depends okay. on how long we've been together, too. I got you. I might be bored, too. D, what you say? I'm okay with it. You okay with it? You about to die. D. Go ahead. D. We, we Go ahead and shoot up the club, too, because that baby ain't coming nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like that. <laughs> she said you can, that. you can shoot up her face and everything. You can shoot up the club, cause <laughs> the baby's dead. They probably dead already anyway. If you Damn. sick, Damn. I mean, if you sick, Damn. you probably oh, them babies wow. deformed. Hold on, so are you? Yeah, okay. you probably shooting absolutely nothing, huh? Yes, so. Wait, hold on. The baby's sick Those too. Those are good qu she, questions. The baby's sick too now, huh? No, hold on. <laughs> First of all, y'all going to hell on no, a, she was on going a hell. full scholarship, nigga. Uh, <laughs> So you okay with it for real? I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I'm okay. Yeah. All right. What's the next? What's I'm, not, I'm not okay with it. So we got. Then, but I wanted to ask the perspective, like, so if this was your ex calling you on her, his, her death. I'm not Do y'all want some dying dick? I'm not that clapping. Dead pussy. I'm Do y'all want dying it. dick? You're not, you not having sex with. You're them. jumping on it. It's yeah. gonna be a no, Let's man. Let's run it back. Cause I might kill you. Look, what if I kill you? It depends. You might. And you literally beat that pussy to death. Ah, uh, there you go. go. And can't nobody say that for me around here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you sure you want to fuck with me? I'll be killing bitches. The last one uh, fuck with, she died. <laughs> right, the last one. It, it depends on the condition. The last one didn't make it out of here. Uh, for life? That's crazy. That's sad. No, uh, right. Not the best. We can boomerang <laughs> that one back. I want to hear y'all answers though. Uh, we boomeranging it back. Everybody said you, Oh, y'all said no. Everybody said but, no. Yes, but, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She no, said yeah. yeah. It's about, it's four to three. God. And I think the nose have it. Here we go. What are they doing too I'm much? Cracking up. I got a scenario for y'all. Y'all ready for this one? Okay. okay. You make plans to go out with your friends. Your person knows that it's the night out with the boys or the ladies. And after a few hours of spending time with your friends, your person starts sending you pictures of them naked in a hot tub with all your favorite things, favorite food. Let's say you smoke weed. They smoking a blunt and saying, come home. I'm out. Saying you come home. Are they doing too much? They doing the. It depends on what time. Yeah. Now she been. Okay, okay let's, been out for let's do one at a time. D, let's go you yeah. first. For me, yeah. If I've been out for a minute with my girls, like if I've been out over three hours or four hours with my girls, mm -hmm. and he text me and I'm ready to go home. I'm, I'm just good there. Dad, there you go. I'm there, but if I've been there for like an hour, it's an like, hour. Come on, let's dude. go with an hour. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you. You're not gonna you go home. Too much. Mm -hmm. Give me some twerk though. time. Not twerk time. No, because if you say no, now you gotta go home to some a fight probably. You know what I'm saying? They the kind of put. They the kind of put you in. You will. I spot. am coming home. Just not right now. Right. <laughs> I'll be here in a minute. And she enjoying yeah. herself. So no, just not right now. <laughs> yeah. You're you doing all the things I like to do. So I know you enjoying yourself. So hold up, Fabo. Oh, is is he is she or he doing too much? She doing yeah. That's your lady. Okay, okay. let's say it's your lady. So like she said, depending yeah. on how long I've been out. Okay. You know, because you already knew mm -hmm. that I was going out tonight. So yep. for you to go out your way to try to coerce me to come back into the crib, mm -hmm. and you knew coerce. tonight was the night. You could have did this yesterday. Yep. Wait until tomorrow. tomorrow, right? That's yeah. true. But That's are you true. going home? Like I said, it depends on what time it is. I, if it's one hour, are you going <laughs> one home? One hour in, no, I ain't going home. <laughs> I'm going to be like, all right, baby. Uh, 
I see you in a few. Yeah. Be like, you look good. At keep least it, I'll, you can handle it. Keep it, it high. Anyway. I wouldn't. I, I just be like, I'll be there in a little while. So we, I'm gonna go around. We're gonna finish going around the room, and then I'm gonna antagonize the situation. Oh my god! Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I have to. I have to. Go ahead, Tori. I'm, I'm not answering. I want to answer yet. Cause I'm, I'm ready to antagonize it. Oh, mm-hmm. oh my god! Love I'm it. going home, bitch. Four hour, two hour, three hour, thirty minutes. Well, thirty minutes. I'm going you going, going home? Not thirty minutes. I'm going home. So you one of them people that when you get a man, you leave all your friends behind. I'm not leaving my friends, yeah. but they know what's up. I ain't had a man in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't hit a man in a minute. All right. Understand. All right. Understand. Yeah. That that thing hot and ready, baby. She like I'm mad. She said we just, we just got that to the club. So understandable. Like, hey y'all, I'm gonna get y'all a drink in the Uber. I'm out. Right. Big facts. Said I'm skating off on your ass. See, I feel bad because whenever I'm like, I'm the type of person when I'm like, when I love a nigga, or even if I'm just stigmatized, even one of them, mm-hmm. whatever the situation is, if he tell me come through and I'm out and everything, all of a sudden it's just. Oh, I'm tired. Like, I'm out. I'm like, I'm tired. I'm, t- I'm sleepy. I got, I got to work in the Like, you know, it's like everything. And I, I hate that about myself. But to me, <laughs> I like, probably, I'm a, I'm not going to fake it. Like, just dip on my friends. But I'm definitely going back to my man. Like, I can't. It's just help. a matter of time. And the clock has begun. Yeah. Big facts. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I, I, I just be like, yeah, y'all know where I'm finna go. I'm yeah. gonna see a man about a horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the freaks say. Man I never knew what dog. that meant. I'm going to see a man about a dog. That's what a it was. dog, not a dog. Yeah. That's what my daddy used to say. Yeah. That's what my daddy. Used to say. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. About a dog. It's a horse. Like my daddy say dog. I like horse better. I heard about a dog. That I must heard be a Midwest. That must be a Midwest thing. A dog sound like a man with a Vienna sausage. I don't want no dog. A little pink pink. I don't want that. But you want a horse. Circumcised. But you want a horse. I want a horse. Calm down. A pony, calm that, calm that coochie down, son. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh man, this is a uh, doing too much, but this actually scenario just kind of raised up some questions. Oh, okay, so it said if you were in the YSL situation, the Rico, mm. and you knew you could tattle, but <laughs> by tattling tattle. you could be free, live a full life, put out an album, and your shit go number one. And all you get is a reputation, a reputation of a rat. Or you could be the other guy. Would you go home? What's the other guy, though? The what other guy serving? is... Uh, I'm trying not to say their names. I know. What are you serving, though? <laughs> oh, shit. Sometime, it's a Rico. Sometimes. Rico. No Rico time is... Yeah, yeah Rico time is like... Those are not I'm not a snitch, so I probably would take the time for me. Dead ass. I'm a G. You a G. You ain't going out like that. Mm-hmm. Even if you knew you were going to be successful? I don't give a fuck. So if yeah, you knew the future wasn't... Because I'm going to come out with that money and everything. Cause they always, come out when? I don't know. Depends on how many people yeah. counting on me. Okay. So, let, me cha- let me change it for you. Coming out. Yeah. 30 Freedom years. is... 70. 70. 30 years. You put the kids You got kids. I know. I got a son. You got a son. He about to... You'll see him when he 30, got grandkids. 37. 37. If he set, set. <laughs> if he set and I know I'm going right to be now. set... In this moment, I ain't snitching. You ain't snitching. If you I said know she ain't gonna snitching. Be set, and I know we're gonna come out. With I don't know. Ten fucking something. toes. I'm serious. You feel me? If we did some shit. You wouldn't snitch. Ten toes. No. I just want to know. I see where we at. I see where we at. <laughs> if, if I'm involved in shit, it, you involved. If you if you if know you I was did a, that. If shit. I was a part of it and yeah. shit like that, and I'm not snitching. And I know. I feel. But if it's on some shit, well, I got some information for you now. Nah, man. I'll meet you halfway. Nah, man. I'll do five. I, I ain't gonna sit here and be like, leave my phone and be like, gosh, like, man. you know, but, but it'll be like, like hey, look. Said, if you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. You know, exactly. you know if I'm part of that shit, yeah. 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 So if you didn't do it, you tell it. That's what you're saying. Absolutely. Fucking you cannot put a price on freedom. Like Come on what, now. That, like, that's some real shit. They though. did put yeah. one on there it. a couple years ago. He said, if I ain't do it, hey. he said, if I ain't do it, don't try If I'm getting push caught up in some. Okay, and that's another thing. No, no because now. what is snitching? Everybody they has a different definition it. of what snitching okay, is. Okay, so snitching yeah. is an acronym and said, sorry, nigga, I'm trying to come home. So that's what it really <laughs> means. Period. I never heard. Okay, okay. nigga, I'm trying to come home. <laughs> That's what snitch means. Sorry, nigga, I'm trying to. Sorry, come nigga, home. I'm trying to come home. Okay, so because some people view it as like snitching is just telling on somebody in general. Like, yeah, you should right. not. No, they have informants. Or, yeah, or yeah, that's a people rat. view snitching as like if you was involved and you threw everybody under the bus for yeah. your own self. Yeah. So to me, I feel like if it's some shit where my life is on the line and it's like over y'all niggas, like I'm not putting my life on the line what for niggas? y'all niggas. Us? However, hold on now. It depends. Right. But if I'm involved, if we all, if we we all involved, then. 
Like I'm right. with it. Like that's how we going. But if it's on some shit where I get caught up in some shit that I ain't, I'm like I ain't do shit. No, I'm y'all. No, you cannot know. Like that day when Brandon went outside and lit off that bomb. Real quick though, it's not dry snitching if you know you about to fucking do it, dude. What is it? You just real. You regular people snitching, right? Exactly. That's what y'all rat. remember when y'all you there. You don't go down with them because nah, you I wasn't. I wasn't there. See what I'm saying? Yes, Boom. y'all was. You was there. You <laughs> See, was she won't even let you escape the snitch. <laughs> some people don't snitch because of their safety. You know, shit like that. Yeah. And it's just people define snitching as you told. Yeah. You right. told like regardless. But really to situation. me, I will. I will tell. But if I'm a part of it, <laughs> y'all motherfuckers better not tell neither. Like if I'm a part of it, y'all none of us better tell. Not her. <laughs> Her voice was a little shaky. I was gonna say, yeah. when you yeah. said that, you sound like a nigga there to tell. You <laughs> like, you like, yeah. I will tell. I will. I Come will. on now. So Love, did you? Did you, do nothing with Kayla did you answer this yet? I ain't gonna tell. You ain't gonna answer. Funny, I tell. If I'm part of it, y'all better not tell neither. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got somebody in the mic back there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. I have a question. What's your name? Where you from? My name is Keith. I'm from San Diego. There we go. Hey. So my question is: Is coming clean snitching? Like Ooh, if I was involved, like yourself. y'all said. Oh. Mm-hmm. And Ooh. I did my part, and I feel like I want less time. And they tell me you got to tell us everything that happened that you did. Oh, so hell. That, right. Right. that I did, but so, if I did it and I did it with you, but they don't know you. Right. You right. part of so my story. So, listen. so is that oh, snitching? So listen. The answer is absolutely. So listen, if you involve you. that person in your story at all, without just strictly telling on yourself, you not coming clean. You yes. snitch. You snitch. Okay. If okay. you come clean, you come clean about yourself. So yeah. I yeah. Like I, I shot so and so. Person A. You basically did. <laughs> they wasn't did this, yeah. right? You basically gonna take the rap for everything. Right. That's what I'm saying. If oh, you no, gonna, if you gonna, if you gonna come clean, come clean for everybody. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That way. Because otherwise, you're gonna be a, otherwise that, you I'm gonna be a snitch though. No, you're you gonna won't. be a hood hero. No, you gonna be. Yeah, you gonna be a hero. Hood hero, nigga. That ain't snitch. Okay. Good Somebody way. gonna consider me a snitch still though. Nah, cause you okay. doing they time. Nah, you a hood hero. You, you a, gonna have all the commissary. Uh, they gonna put yeah. some money on your books for sure. All you can eat ramen right. noodles in that motherfucker. You gonna be in there like them niggas that will fly. Hey, keep, 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 nah, don't count on keep, that. Don't count on that. Don't count on that. Do not count on that. Do not count on that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Change the tunes. Are they doing too much? Title of the show. So recently, this young lady was at a sorority party. And the Soros was doing their steps, and she decided to get in there and try to do them with them. Ooh. Hey, a drunk ain't Listen, shit, boy. Listen, y'all reaction gave me everything I needed to know. So my <laughs> question is, Man. was she doing too much, number yeah, one? She was. Number two, do y'all feel like the fraternities and sororities take it a little too serious sometimes? Yes. They, or, they, or are they doing too much? Hold on, we need to hear y'all background yes. though as well. I, I, I do think they take it a little too Fable. far sometimes. All right, the, here we go. Talk about it. The fraternities and sororities. Sometimes they take it a little bit too far. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, for a person that's like ignorant to what's going on, yeah, then I understand. Like you just see some shit you think cool, and you in there trying to do what the fuck they mm-hmm. doing. You know? right, yeah, right, right. But if you know what the fuck it is you doing, and you know um, being impersonating you know, that you, shit, you know that it's blatant disrespect towards right. them. So you need to just let them get their shit off. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Let them mm-hmm. do their thing. They gon' they gonna stop doing whatever the fuck it is they doing. Right. Whatever stroll they got going on. Once the song changes, nigga, you ain't gotta see that shit no more. You might see it two, three more times because yeah, yeah. them niggas be they like the stroll. Niggas be doing a lot. Yeah. They they yeah. Love yeah. Hop they and doing too much. Fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. They strolling around the motherfucking room. <laughs> but sometimes the motherfuckers take it a little bit overboard. They, mm. it, 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 there's a way to de-escalate the situation. Yeah, you yeah. Ain't gotta jump on the motherfucking head because right. they might not know. Yeah. You know? I see that, that was the <laughs> thing. Problem. Yeah, Hello. like even in like in college, like. I witnessed a lot of the times people had to learn the hard way when it came to even like breaking the line or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And it shouldn't always be like that because people don't know. Like there's yeah. people that don't know. But in this this like particular situation, that bitch was intentional. She had like the pair of like she was impersonating I a whole that. like like oh, yeah. She was, she was, yeah. She, she was had the attended. like she had the nail on it. Oh, like yeah. she knew. Yeah. She knew she violated. Yeah. Yeah. She violated yeah. For sure. they should yeah. She, she joined in. Had the, yeah. It was yeah. That was. <laughs> She was doing too much. She yeah, she, she, she that it takes to get into a frat and sorority. Does that count though? Does, does that matter in the situation? Say it one more time. I said the strenuous activities that go through these. these See sorority members again. Yeah. I'm so that's asking why they, that's, that's why they go so hard. Something you feel me? So for her to impersonate them, right. that's why they go so hard. So that's 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 why I was going to get at. So the question was kind of loaded. I said, are they do they do too much? Even with the even with the hazing and all that, is that too much? Do y'all think that's too much? But I, the fact that people do go through that, 
that means a lot. It's like going to boot camp in the military and then somebody right. got a uniform on. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like people take that very serious. I, I think it's a lot of the stuff that they do is irrelevant when it comes to what the whole mission of why these sororities and right. fraternities were created. Right. Fact. Like, one of the things that I witnessed in college was y'all motherfuckers not graduating on time. Mm. Y'all motherfuckers not doing no service. Mm. So the main things of these things... It was social. Academics and service, y'all are not meeting the motherfucking marks. Y'all just here, like, being social. So it's like, at that point, y'all lost sight of what everything is meant to be about. Mm. So in that, in that case, these motherfuckers do too much because you sitting there trying to make everybody your little bitch. Right. And y'all don't have y'all is for no reason. Y'all don't have no Cause you can. Yeah. Got your shit in order. Exactly. Where you saw this at? Where you saw this at? And it's always like that. Too. I'm, I went to Old Dominion University. Ooh. ODU. Okay, I just yeah. want to have, let ODB. everybody know. She Where's saw that at ODU. When I was in Virginia, yeah, I, I used to call them the ODB. Like yeah. All corn. Your motherfuckers out there, and they <laughs> so take serious. Cause all corn too. When you on the yard. That's it. It yeah. ain't nothing but the yard out there, bitch. Yeah. All corners in the middle of fucking nowhere. So yeah, yeah. them motherfuckers take that shit seriously. They be like gangs out there, bitch. No, yeah. it is. I ain't so, even gonna lie. They who, say it is. Yo, like I okay. So I went to college, did my four years, five years. Five years. What's mm-hmm. your name? Where you from? It happened. Oh, 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 I'm Desiree. I'm from San. We, well, see, originally we, from Long Beach, but I rep San Diego because I've been here for forever. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, no, like in college, I definitely probably bumped into somebody's like stroll line Mm -hmm. and like had trauma from that. So like, I'm definitely not... Like, they do the most. They jumped on Fighting in nobody's yeah. line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because like when you're lit and you're in the moment, you're like, oh shit, they look like they're doing something. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh, sweetheart. They be d- Come right. on, let me, let me bring you right over here because mm-hmm. that's not what you're supposed to be doing right there. Oh, but that's, I've, I've seen that yeah. with like, you know, the cues or somewhere and they're doing yeah. that, that shit. And some drunk dude, you know, he thought it was cool to do it too. He in there hopping around. Like, you know? Just get up on. That's what I'm in saying. My mind, Why I do people got to learn the hard way you know every saying? time? Well, I was I like, they finna, the stomp, so... they finna stomp this nigga out with gold boots on in this yeah. bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> <They finna laughs> be he was just... Boots on the ground. Just, yeah. Yeah. Dusted. They are. They, are. they like college games. It's like a game. Really like, well, I want to say this. Like, okay, why do we have to learn the hard way? Why is this not like... Oh, everything ain't common. No, no, no. Like at home, okay. like we're black. Mm-hmm. Your, I feel like as a black parent, your first like, hey, these are HBCU. Yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. is what this is about. Yeah. Yeah. These are these That's things, true. and now yeah. these are your options. You can pick whether you want to go to HBCU, whatever mm-hmm. else you want to go to, but you should be taught about these things at home. Yeah. A lot of people be the first gen. The, day, mm-hmm. the uh, purpose of the HBCU mm-hmm. is like you said, culture. Yeah. A, Culture, yeah. Yeah. academics, and service. Excellent. Like, what's going on? Excellent. But some people be first gen. Yeah. Some, 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 some people, people are a lot of first gen. gen. You have, no, like, you have no idea. Like none of people ever that's, went to HBCU. Oh, so. okay, okay. That's very yeah. true. Yeah. I ain't never, none of my people I went, but I know. Yeah. I didn't. I knew yeah. it as soon as right. I went to that bill. I have, I'll, it's a bunch of women in my family, See? Deltas, AKAs. I had some teachers that was some stuff, but that's about my only experience. I thought I wanted to play. No, I wouldn't have never. I ain't gonna hold you. I thought I was. I could see you as a little. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, know, you, see, you see me pleasant. I'm a football player, man. I don't do all that. Football players ought to be cues. What you talking about? I can't. I can't. I can't have been able to do nothing else, man. I was a quarter. I had to learn that book, man. I went to school. I went to school. I couldn't do that shit. I see. I don't know. I see. Definitely a, definitely a delta. A delta, cause you maybe think, a poodle. You though. think everybody stank and everybody on drugs? And and you would have been a delta. <laughs> and they ugly. She would have been a delta nah. for sure. We ain't even. We ain't even had. Literally, all we had was the Zetas and the AKAs. Everybody else was suspended. suspended. Do y'all remember hey, boots? Everybody else we suspended. Got that the deltas was suspended. Mm. The AKAs was suspended. Why they get suspended? Cause they some wild seeds, nigga. Um, for hazing. But, but they get caught up yeah, hazing. I'm just gonna talk about the black fraternities and all that because. See, but I don't know about the motherfuckers. Way wow, more, man. yeah. They, oh they no, they be doing butt that. stuff. Killing people. We don't that. play like that. Yeah. <laughs> they be doing butt <laughs> stuff. We don't play like that. Straight up. up. Hey, they, right. they, they, they might sweat you out, but they, they not about to do. Yeah. But we ain't got to worry about that because that ain't our shit. Yeah, we don't do that shit. We don't play with all that stuff. No, can a black person join? They probably whoop the hell out you. Man, you gotta get an extra paddle. Be like, hold on, this paddling feel too personal, nigga. But we let all culture come in our shit. That's the part I can't whoop the hell out anyway. Like yeah. just the whole yeah. you finna whoop my ass and shit. Like bitch, not today. Know, I didn't. I stopped letting my mama whoop my ass. I don't need to be a part of this if y'all finna whoop my ass like she, this. I listen, joined bro. the Navy. They ain't have to whoop my ass. I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, Southside, and I never was in the game. 
I can make it through college without y'all niggas. I'll be all right. Without them whooping your ass. You know what I'm saying? It's for girls and shit. Fast. That too. You know what? A lot of them. It's, it's for social for social status. Yeah. Letters come with status. Very People who peaked in the high school. But it's yeah. it's jobs yeah. you can't get because some because somebody the opposite. Like I said, it's like a game. I love. It. But if you do what you're supposed to, if you take it like what it's meant for, mm -hmm. it's a lot you can get out of it. Yeah. Like, Networking and all that. Like, the, yeah, the, the sorority or fraternity is just like an added right. up because yeah. you can still mm -hmm. be. Interviewing with somebody that went to the same school as you. Big fact. That's yeah. the same alma yeah. mater. You feel me? And mm -hmm. You can yeah. get the job based off of that. I respect But them. you might meet a motherfucker that's also a, a Sigma if I was a fucking Sigma. Mm -hmm. right. that and he like, work? hey, bro, like, it yeah. might work we out bros. Right, right, right. Like, hey, I'm finna give you this job. But so, you yeah, know, they do have they little. They got brotherhood. Like, like, um, we always argue that, like, black people are not united just because you're black. You know, like, all the other coaches, oh, oh, Filipino, we linked. We already linked. No no, discussion. But with the sororities and fraternities, as soon as they see that emblem, or same with, um, what's that other thing that they do? The Masons. The Masons. Uh -huh. yeah. the Masons yeah. When they see that, Easter stars, they see that, it's like an automatic yeah. link. But we don't do that as black people in general. In general, So right. that is something that's good. I don't... To don't. I think no. I mean, I I think for me coming from where I'm from, where it's a lot of black people versus coming out here. Facts. Right. To it's me, I definitely like. Right. I definitely being a transplant. I definitely, if I see somebody black, I'm speaking to you. Yeah. Like, yeah, you feel like much different. Yeah. 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 So yeah. like for me, like yeah. I agree. And they're not. And honestly, sometimes I get a little disappointed because sometimes I'll be like, oh, and then I'll be like, I'm one of the people that's deprived. They're not deprived. Like, right. you know, this is that. I don't know why I'm going through deprivation. Because like, oh sometimes I'm like, oh, you're not cool. Like, they, sometimes I get treated like shit. Or something. I'm like, God damn. But I'm like, everybody not <laughs> deprived like me. Like, they live in the hood. They just have like, to be outside. I'm just like, bro. Like, Love, did you want to touch on this before we got out of here on this one? No, I mean, I, I fuck with crap like this. Okay. Not really. I think a lot of people <laughs> Of course, yeah. of course. Is that a bad thing, though? Um, it's to each his own. I personally don't feel the need to go do something like that. But again, it's hard for people to be authentic because they don't even know themselves until they get to college. Mm. That's right. their first time being away from home and even learn who they are. Right. So, yeah. They need a family. Yeah, for sure. That's Find what a tribe. Yeah. For sure. People want yeah. a tribe, but you got your reasons for doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times I think it's really for the status. Sometimes it's generational. For the girls. But it's <laughs> always <laughs> obvious. It's <laughs> always <laughs> obvious. And yeah. who does it for the yeah. status? You know the people yeah. that's in there just so people will look at them a different Type of way, because mm -hmm. if they were out on their own, they would be like, yeah, yeah, they wouldn't like have it. nobody to, to reach out. And that's kind of like a gang mentality, no? Yeah, yeah. Like, wait, yeah. you join so you yeah. can have very much a gang mentality. Yeah. I'm from Social the South, status. though, too, so I understand community, the, like the value of community, too. Most yeah. Like, yeah. But like Kayla was saying, show the show the proof of the community stuff. You can't be yeah. talking about y'all about community and excellence and stuff like that, and all y'all doing is getting drunk, partying, and all You don't know how you act or work, but a lot of times. Speaking about dudes, dude, dude, <laughs> yeah, it's community. It's dick going on around this bitch. I set it up. <laughs> but you don't know I'll how you're gonna, gonna act until you get the authority. Sometimes, yeah, so. big fact. Like until you get the status, that's when people start changing. From they there, do change. So. That's a fact. That's, that's a military thing own, too. They build their own identity. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah, well, niggas do that in the military. Well, that's you know, military is a game too. Yeah, it's kind of it's a big game. Yeah, they know people who really know. Man, it be motherfuckers joining the military, bro. Them motherfuckers be whole new life. They become a different person, a whole different type of motherfucker than they was when they was at the crib, bro. Motherfuckers be gang affiliated. And all other type of shit. And I'd be like, bro, right, you I came do. from the nicest suburb that right. anybody could have ever lived in, and now you out here claiming to be goddamn GD and Vice Lord and all this type of shit. They can, re they can reinvent <laughs> themselves. They can reinvent yeah. themselves. And, and then when you crazy. and in the military, you only there for so long, then you can do it again. Yeah, right. yeah. You can do it again. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I've seen niggas do that shit. Yeah. You go. Everywhere. But it be okay. hood niggas that now get in there and they never never guess that they was ever from the hood. You know what I'm saying? It be some real niggas in the Navy and every day they good morning, Petty officer. You be like, nigga. Oh God! Boy, I know you didn't kill four niggas in this motherfucker. <laughs> Good morning, Petty Austin. We ain't fooling about that fake weekend, ass. Bro, coming that bitch real professional. Oh my mama, but they be good though. That's good. Niggas, be, yeah, that's good. They change the life turn around. That's yeah. a I'm intrigued. Now they just a professional right. gangster. That's oh, the only God. difference. They it's get paid to kill. Duality, I love it. Oh she God! Said duality, right. I love it. All right, here we go. Last topic. We're gonna roll, man. So today's topic, y'all don't understand. You're doing too much. So here we go with the, you doing too much. Everybody know the Kiki Palmer shit going around with the Usher. Oh, she no. didn't troll the man, put him in a video, all kind of shit. So I'm putting y'all in the situation of Kiki Palmer's baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Would you think your person was doing too much? Daddy. So that, the question is really about celebrity crushes. So that's why I want to take the question. I'm going to make it more loaded. Celebrity crush. Do y'all think it's cool for a grown ass person to have a celebrity yes, crush? Yes, I do. I have yes. one. Yeah. Yes. How far can you go with that? Shit? Around I around would do whatever God. Scissor asked me to do. <laughs> And I would do anything. I would suck a, a fart out of scissor booty. But that's oh, what I'm saying. Wow. 
I love that girl. He wild because he for real. Thanks for the thanks for the visual, uh, Fabo. <laughs> So, but my question, with you saying the sucking farts, right? <laughs> how would your person feel about you sucking farts? And how would you feel about your person I already told her this. sucking farts? I already told my person what it is. And she gave you the check and she, that's on you, your yeah. list? She's just I'm, I'm probably over exaggerating. You, know, you probably wasn't. But it's that's okay. Just way, that's just the way I feel listen, about it. This is a safe, me. listen, it's a I safe place. I wouldn't do it on stage and then like that. Yeah, exactly. No, no. Exactly. <laughs> she brought well, me back to the hotel. Little Dutch oven action. what might happen back then, so, so you okay with celebrity crushes because you got one? So you understand? Yeah, the point. my wife is a is an Usher fan. My okay, period. The, one of the biggest Usher That's fans I've so, ever met in my life. So Usher singing to your old lady, right? Cool. You cool with that? This is the only then he time said, you let her have her ever gonna see this nigga Hold ever on. in your yeah. life, bro. But then he this say, is your once in he, say he said we good, good. I, I, I ain't stop, right? We good, like good. So then nigga, so he, so he hit y'all up like, hey, why don't y'all come back to the to the spot? Who the fuck y'all? You and your You and your old lady. I'll come back to the spot. Yeah, yeah, come back to the spot. Fuck you, we finna go kick it with Usher, nigga. What, okay. What's up? Okay. It's your you're once getting, in a lifetime. That's your story time, too. He an assassin. I'm telling you this. Nigga, nah. he know what he's doing. Hey, security stop okay you at the door. Hey. You'll be okay with it, D? Hey. You said he stopped me at the door. He's gonna stop you and bring a lady back. Excuse me, sir. Over there. Sorry, sir. No mails allowed. Oh, yeah? Adris. Adris? He looking at me right now. What the hell, Adris? That's why I always... That's how you know she like him. She say his name like that. Adris. Bitch, I said, who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just dawning, and she thought I was like, she said, that's that's what I my man. me right there. That's what you I call my man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She said, like, Idris. Idris. I respect that. Idris. I was like, who's Idris? She put the little accent on. Idris. It is what it is. Idris out. You okay? Yeah, you okay? You need a minute? Why your nose do that? What's that? <laughs> Nigga, he got down. Now, I know an Idris album. He was supposed to come to my party. You, uh -uh. you don't know him. I do know Idris nah, nah, Girl, you don't name. know no more Luther King. Kayla. <laughs> Kayla, how you feel about grown people with celebrity crushes? I mean, you can't help what you want, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how if you see going, some... though, G? I mean, as far as, uh, if you DMing them, get that a life. Right. You know what what you get a life. That kind of shit. That's what I'm... You can't get a life. Hey, so, so she, but she if it's clearly a one... DMing Usher. I don't but, DM Usher. Come but on, if it's a once in a lifetime back. opportunity, honestly, I would hate to be the one to hold you back from a once in a life opportunity that you Ew. to crack bones to you. Really? Yes. Damn. I would. I would let you. you give your, that's my you story to tell too. Like, like a like, that's by my connection. <laughs> that's by connection. Like. So who would be my yours? man? Fuck. Oh, uh, my celebrity crush. Yeah. As much as, uh, like, as much as like I hate, to, as as much as I hate to have found out, <laughs> hell no, I hate to have found out he's a fuck nigga. But oh, apparently, I, whatever. Who is he? Lakeith Stanfield. Now, nah. oh, who is that? Now you know I don't know. A movie. Lakeith, Lakeith, Lakeith from that? Atlanta and all that. He from Atlanta. He from, from Get everything. Out. He he on a lot of Sorry to all the baby. Yes, yeah, broke my heart. In a movie? Girl, it's yes, a he, that was his first kid. Let me look him up. He not taking care of one of, Sorry, one or two of them. Sorry, he's take the trivia about oh You said Lake Lake how you Lakeith. Lakeith Stanfield, girl. Lakeith. 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 How you spell that boy uh -uh, name? Uh-uh, bitch. Uh-uh, I ain't fucking around. Lakeith. Lakeith. no nigga named Lakeith. I think I, I, I think I have. No. Smash. No. I'm <laughs> smashing on him. <laughs> oh, my God. Not Lakeith. Girl, I love the edge. You like us, and he be breaking bitches out. Right? Hey. No, he don't. He got it. <laughs> don't believe anything he got that, you heard on the that's internet. That's blasphemy. It's not real. <laughs> it's not real, but they sued him wow. for it. Right? Wow. He got the gano. That's wild he got behavior. It. No, I, I think it's her. <laughs> we ain't good, but we still good. That's she said, I'll be catching him when he don't be breaking out. Uh, okay, <laughs> we, got, look, we got someone at the mic. Oh, it's not look Keith. Keith. It's Keith. All right, Keith. But I have changed my name to King Keith. That's weird. No, go ahead. Wait a minute now. It's a long story. You in the same place. Go ahead. Go ahead. But I'm in the same place. So I'm just curious. For those of us who work in the industry, I've been working in the industry forever. What industry you working in? Well, I mean, the <laughs> entertainment industry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But all, inter all entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious to know, like, who are we going to fuck that. with, though? I mean, like, you have to. yeah, if, you I, have to. if I get invited to a Trey Songs party, you it's going to be. Hella people there. Yeah. You can't go to a Trey Song party. Well, you, yeah. you can't unless you unless you ready to get to interact yeah. with people. Yeah. You know, blah blah blah. Yeah. I know her. Yeah. I know him and Kiki Palmer yeah. had their thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. but his party was one of those Hollywood 
and parties. They know what. Right. So that means yeah. when everybody was coming into their parties, we I had to sign them. NDAs. Like I have to sign an NDA every time I go to anybody's party. Mm-hmm. I didn't go to Trey Song's party, so I didn't sign an NDA so I can talk about this one. There we go. Yeah. But I heard about what happened. You know what I mean? And I genuinely feel like everybody who went to that party you knew, knew what you was going to. They yes. was going to do. Drugs Something. and people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, it is. Yeah. Well, See, I drugs like, and people. I mean, it is what it I is. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. He had the best alcohol. Right. He had the best females, yeah. the best niggas. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's a, it's a plethora the of options there. We changed the name of the episode to Drugs and People. <laughs> right. <laughs> what we doing? Do? Drugs and people. people. Drugs and people. <laughs> so, I mean, in that case, when you do have a celebrity crush, like, I'm not going to say who my celebrity crush is because I might run into that person in this. This podcast is going to be, you know, all over the place. There you go. But I genuinely feel like, okay, my spouse needs to know that if I do go to that oh, party, yep. I'm if I that agree. person asks me to do something, I'm, I'm doing, doing it, it with them. Like, if you know that's my person. But they're nice. regular people. Mm-hmm. They yeah, are. That's regular. a fact. They're regular people. people. I feel okay. like that's a fact. But SZA is a regular, regular person. beautiful person. Okay. Yep. And but I love her. Hold on now. Can I but say something? Impress. I like the way go she ahead. looks. The go ahead. only go ahead, reason Tori. why we have these questions is because we know they are Oh, nope. No, no they're not. No, uh, no they're not. No, they're hey, not. I was just finna tell Keith. I, hey, I be having a regular you, crush. If you ever hear nigga, about a scissor party, Keith, call now, me. I'm wait, in there. True story. Wait, wait. wait. True fucking LA, story. I'll say this. Living in L.A., I run into so many people in random places. Mm-hmm. Beauty supply stores. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's uh, your Right. Chicken. But that's my right. thing. For us, it's unattainable. In our For y'all, it's not. Them niggas fuck regular women. Hey, that's a fact, though. What no, a, that is a fact, though. Celebrity men will he's fuck a regular woman wait, because she bad as fuck. Wait, 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 you know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 he's talking about it all the time. I can't I'm smash here. Carrie Hilson. I ain't going to tell y'all who my crush can make it good. <laughs> you think yes. I got a shot? What I'm saying is, like, in our minds, the reason why we crush on somebody, like, if it was somebody we was close to, we see all the time, I don't think it would really be a crush. I can, I, but I can have, have, a, I can have regular crushes, though. I got regular, I got regular crushes, too. Yeah, yeah, like I'm a grown ass crush man, dog. I don't trust on nobody. You don't know too much about that, that grocery that's store lady. This lady at my grocery store. Mental, yes, and you're you like a about. mental restriction on them, so it's like kind I'm of a crush. That. But if you knew that person, it wouldn't be no crush. It'd be like, I like that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You don't say you crush somebody that you like and you see the ass all the time. I like him. Well, no, no, I had a crush. We had crushes. I had a crush on a girl. Because you felt like that bitch was entertaining because you ain't never talked to nobody. No, I knew I never had talked. She let that nigga tell her. It's a matter of time. Nigga, huh? No. <laughs> it's a matter of time. Like. But you know what I'm saying? But after a while, like with the people you go to school with, they crushes until you get closer to them and now you like them. Mm-hmm. See, That's why I say it's crushes because you feel like you can't get to them. As soon as you get to be around a certain crush, even celebrity, whatever, most of the time, say we always did a podcast and, there, yeah. and uh, I don't know, Chico Bean or somebody was in here. <laughs> y'all had liked the Chico <laughs> Bean or something. Oh no. Out of everybody. I just I'm thought just about saying. a funny nigga that might be on our podcast. There you go. Okay. 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 Right. You know, Touché. Chico Bean was shout on out, here. Shout out. She said, Carl we can get Chico Bean. Shout out. We can get Chico We can get Chico Bean. She said, DC or no, but she said, we can get Chico Bean. Thanks, Tori. <laughs> so, so what if you get to do that and they let you down? Like the whole experience. Oh, now that's, that's probably like, like look, that's probably one of that my. That was my fears, last question before See, we got off of it. That's yeah. probably one of my fears because you never know. You know, you never yeah, know if they're fucking like people. I've had no, I've had regular crushes where it's just like I crushed on them so hard that I was like, I don't know if I even want to pursue this because it's like, do I want to burst that bubble of mm. them being like that? Trash. And crush. Yeah, like you I know what I'm saying? My homegirl smashed Kyrie Irving. She said it was trash. See? I made it up. That was foul. You Damn. Damn. No more it could be it could be false. Not on duty. Hey, when you when you that tall, where do you? Oh, it, it depends on the chemistry. It, it all depends. He's six one. That nigga six oh, okay. one. Yeah, I had regular dude. I'll, I'll give somebody have, one two two shots to see if they really bow. I had a regular crush that we ended up keeping oh, it on some shit, mm-hmm. and it just wasn't it wasn't what I imagined. You, were doing you never much. meet your hero. You were doing too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In your, your mind, mind, you probably was thought, yeah. I just I thought she was going to be decent. Hey, I don't know. I Sometimes it'd be exactly what you think. I got a celebrity, I got a celebrity crush, man. What's your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush is Erica Badu. It's voodoo okay. in that Ooh, pussy. That's my girl. It's voodoo she in that pussy. Every she took. she took. I'm a pad. Was a um, regular dude, mm-hmm. and this mother was wearing soccer shoes mm-hmm. and shoulder pads. You know what? Bombs over Baghdad, his whole shit changed. Oh, uh, that's what I want. 
I'm a, I'm a pad. Touch that coochie. I want all that. Black power. You remember Harlem Nights? Right? Right? Okay, so round the room. What you do after? But no, but that's the same shit. So my thing about it: if you're in a relationship and you got a crush and you got an opportunity to act on that crush. We need to profit. Right. So if I hey. smash her about dude, my wife will have all the candles and stones <laughs> hey, and you incense. Ever, you ever smell them incense? Them the, that's what I'm saying though. So like, like, like a and if she if she smash pop. her celebrity crush, Man, I need some of this. I need some of this mortgage pay. We we need to profit off this. Let's be let's be honest. That bitch coochie don't smell like that. Ain't no way. Prostitutes. Y'all wow. All y'all some prostitutes. Hey. If, if I can get paid to I sell this dick, listen. Stop <laughs> selling dick first. I of all. definitely will. It's not okay. Yeah. 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 Don't sell bad dick. You if you got good like, dick, you might as well sell it. That be on the market. What you talking about? I'm if you got good dick, you might as well sell it. I ain't gonna tell you. I can't take donations. I can't yeah, disclose yeah, my yeah. price. You supposed to monetize oh, off of your skills. I can't, I can't disclose my prices, but I guarantee you, for motherfucker offering, we're going to negotiate. All right. Yeah, you got an intro, introductory dick price, you oh then you God. pay per <laughs> orgasm. There you go. For every orgasm you, you got, go. you got another fixed rate. So, so no rates, it'd be Uber, like, Uber starting at. <laughs> and, then, and then disposal and cleanup. <laughs> then I need disposal and cleanup fees. Disposal and cleanup. Woo. Wow. <laughs> That's oh, wow. It's a bitch. Pencil damn. <laughs> you thought this through. Okay. It's kind of look. It was a joke at first. Now you getting specific, hey. and it make me feel like you've already you've hey, written this down. You, you using dental dams? No, no, I ain't no hey, dental dams. Right. Right. Stay You gotta advertise That's yourself as an orgasm yeah. specialist. The orgasm <laughs> specialist. Y'all a wild nigga. Hey, here we go. Doing too much. In San Diego, doing too much, man. Just got a, a fucking story came out that a whole bunch of thousands of tarantula spiders <laughs> will be what? taking over San Diego within the next few days. Yeah. What you mean? It's not even San Diego. So check this out. No, it is. Oh, Mating, it is mating season for the tarantula spiders. So you will see them Bitch. outside. Um, Hold on, where are they supposed to be? At? They, they just be, be they be around. They just be hiding usually, but they gonna be outside. They usually, I, I done I, seen I, some tarantulas I, I now. They gonna be in yeah. Alcohol, we caught a couple in my job. They specifically gonna be out there. Yeah, El Cajon. El Cajon, yes sir. So if you don't like spiders and you see one, be careful this weekend. Do they also. Kill you? Uh, no, no. They don't. This weekend? What about next weekend? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's a storm coming in also, again. yes, San Diego away. doing too much. Uh, it's a storm coming. Hurricane Hillary. 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 Hurricane Hillary coming towards. We're gonna get some winds. Don't we'll be too. See. Don't think and it's gonna be rain. a real. We'll a I hope we get some rain. I want some we rain. Get some yeah. rain and some winds. I'm telling y'all, bro. Don't sleep on y'all. Sound hey. like them people from. New Orleans. Mississippi niggas are paranoid, so he listen, already bro, traumatized. He's like, we gonna die the this fuck, weekend. I ain't, bro, listen, right? <laughs> I, am, I am cool with hurricanes. I love hurricanes, you feel me? A category one, they say it's gonna be a category one when it land, you feel me? Yeah. I'm cool with that. That's gonna be rain. minor to me, mm -hmm. you feel me? It's okay. gonna be heavy winds, and it's gonna be some rain. Okay. But for the people that's in San Diego, mm -hmm. and the people that ain't never experienced a hurricane before, okay. they talking like, hey, well, this San Diego, we ain't never had no shit like that. That shit just gonna pass. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all, the people in New Orleans said the same thing for Katrina, and that bitch was a category. So now five, it's Katrina, Fabo. It no, it's not Katrina. I'm just saying the okay. shit that it, comparatively, stay, 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 comparatively, be more ready. Stay alert. Need, okay. Don't sleep on it. For my mean? resident. Well, I will be. For my resident. If it does. Nigga meteorologist. Y'all sound like them niggas in New Orleans, bro. What we need to do, and Katrina Fabo? fucked their life up. Nothing. Y'all just need to get. Just know that the rain coming. Just stay in the crib, bro. Don't get on the road. Y'all know yeah. motherfuckers in San Diego can't drive in the rain. So right. stay y'all ass in the crib. Yeah, it ain't going to be OD. Stock y'all refrigerator so y'all can have something to eat and cook at the crib. I ain't saying that. Motherfuckers need to sit their asses down anyways. Y'all need to put something in yeah. y'all shit. Y'all need to put something in y'all crib so just in case y'all can't just... Readily get out and go get shit. Okay. Y'all can't have something to cook. Go buy all the toilet paper, paper y'all. No, don't do all, don't do all that. Don't do all that. said go get y'all some toilet paper, man. Don't do all that. Don't do all that. But have your, 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 your crib stock, you feel me? Because it's going to be hard and the wind's going to be blowing and you're not going to want to be on the road during this year. From the meter. We got a real meteorologist. Weather by Fable. Appreciate it. Weather by Fable. If it hit down, I'm going to hit him up and be like, you told us. Hey, I'm, I'm going to I'm I'm be like, Fabo, you still got some little potted it. meat in your crib. <laughs> right. I don't got nothing left. Y'all need to sit your ass down anyway. I'm going to smoke that bitch. Come on, guys. Can of sausages. Hey, before we get out here, love, yeah. what's happening? Say what's up to the people. Say where they can find you at, dog. Oh, they can find me everywhere, man, on all social medias at Love Leone. My music as well. Okay. Hey, shout see. out to the pictures you took at Tori. Uh, you got a, you got a, uh, um, a page for your photography. Oh, yeah. Um, lovely Aesthetic. Lovely aesthetic. Yeah, L O V E L I. All one aesthetic. word. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, you did a good job for that, it man. Is, his pictures are dope. Fire I appreciate y'all, man. For what real. up, Kayla? Hey, y'all. You got the shoes off. Look, your conversation must have got good. Look, I'm cozy. I'm comfy cozy over here. Um, but yeah, this was this was a good show. I look, like I said, I love to converse with y'all. I love y'all. 
Uh, but yeah, y'all can find me at the Kayla Sunshine pretty mm-hmm. much everywhere. Pretty much everywhere. Cool ass. Hey, Bo. What's good, bro? Thanks for warning oh, us, man. What can, what can bro, they find? I'm to tell y'all, <laughs> you got the events coming up? So uh, the yes. October 14th, man. I'm doing another uh, kink event. Ow. It's uh, the 4L experience. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be yes, 4L. It's going to be uh, leather, lace, Ooh. leashes, and latex. Oh, yeah. Woo! I'm there. That's, I'm scared. Gonna be, that's the theme for the party. It's a kink party. So just know mm-hmm. it's going to be a little nudity for all the people that don't know what a kink party is. Maybe a little sexual activity, maybe not. We're going to have a pro dom come, and she's going to put on a performance. We're going to have some dancers. We're going to have some games. Mm-hmm. We're going to have some food for people. Mm-hmm. Uh, if y'all are looking for me, I'm on every social media site. My name is the same on every social media site, at Yo Country Cousin. Uh, cousin is spelled K-U-Z-I-N. Mm-hmm. Yo Country Cousin. Yo Country Cousin Fabo, man. Favorite. And look, King. I'm vouching, because I ain't never did nothing. I know when you talk about the party, people be like, <gasps> The gas. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> I had never did nothing That's like good. that. Never thought I would ever do nothing like that. I went last year. I went to one last year, and let me tell y'all, it ain't what you think it is. It's actually really fun, man. It's actually, you'll be way more comfortable than, than you, you think, think you would be. Because you know you're not the only one that's like. No, and then it ain't even like people thinking they're gonna walk in on an orgy. It's like not like that. People, you feel me? Yeah. So even I, better. I, I encourage all black people to come safe out, space you know, for black even people. If you're not gonna, you know, play You can be a voyager. You can still come in and be a voyeur, and you can watch, you can participate. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. The games. We yeah. usually give prizes and stuff like that. So I'm excited. excited. The games. If you need any help, let me know. And dance and listen to the music and all of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, all hands on deck. <laughs> yeah, so if you, if you want to come out, bro, it's going to be October the 14th, uh, San Diego, California. Mm-hmm. Well, we're gonna have you on before Location, that. We're gonna, gonna have you on before October 14th, oh, okay. so we'll be able to oh, sure. we'll be able to we'll be able to make sure as we get closer to the date, and make yeah. sure everybody know. And if anybody in here see anything that belongs to somebody, keep it to yourselves. <laughs> it's a dope right. party, baby. Yeah. Tori, welcome back. Thanks for coming in, pulling up on us. You blew my mind. They belong to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about a penis like, story? I'm talking about oh, a penis. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We grown as hell. So oh, people, I was like, people might have seen somebody else. Y'all about their girlfriend or something? That's what I was thinking too. I was like, <laughs> you talking about penises? Oh my bad. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh wow. I I'm thought we. Meets. I thought we circled back. A lot of snitching. stuff you see on your friends that you usually see on your friends is all I'm saying. Okay. And if you're uncomfortable with it, yeah. Grow up. Anyway, Tori, go ahead. Oh, y'all can find me on. Um, and then also the, this upcoming month, mm-hmm. September the 1st, I'm starting a new 30-day challenge. Um, go on my Instagram and click the link in the bio, yeah. and you can join and register. It's really good. Um, I got a lot of good feedback, so join Get it in. Another testimonial. I did the last one. <laughs> I, I did all 30 win. days and I beat, I, I beat it to Proud the of you, Bob. Yeah. Where you, you lost? Tell the people. I'm going to get in on this. I got to get some of these pounds off. I'm going to get in on this. I might do it. We'll see. We'll see. I, I would we'll honestly, see. if anybody needs any motivation, I honestly, I'm being dead ass serious, I suggest you do it. Because I was, working I went from not good. working out at all at all to working out literally every day for like the last like 35 yeah, seconds. It, 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 it and that, at that point, it's a habit. It's a habit now. Right. It gives you some accountability. I'm going to throw a little joke in there one of those contests here. Wait a minute. You're doing too much. He be in the the metaverse going crazy. D, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for co-hosting with me, dog. Of course. How you feel about today? Oh, it was great. Our conversations are always good. You ready for karaoke? You Smoke you singing? No, I'm you not. Singing tonight? No, not tonight. Where can what? they find you? I want to do hookah. I can't wait. Okay. T- I to smell them. I can smell them. Smell the dinner yeah, cooking. But the hookah is hookah. hookah. Yes, hookah's but you hookah. can find me Shout on out, Instagram mm-hmm. as the authentic. You already know, aka these nuts. <laughs> Authentic D, man. Straight yeah, up, man. We're going to get up out of here, man. It's been another episode of In the Cut Live. want to give a shout out to the Red Cup Gang. Shout out to the Red Cup Gang, man, our sponsor. And um, also the High Angle. Shout out to the High Angle, man. In the Cut. Behind the scenes. In the Cut Barber Studios. I want to give a shout out to Dream Radio 619. That's delivering real entertainment music, man. We're going to be up and all Mr. day, 24-hour music, man. Commercial free. So y'all make sure y'all join us next week. Don't forget Mr. Hookah. Mr. Hookah. Oh, man. Yeah. What am I oh, doing? I Tell you where you at. Shout out to I Got the Hookah. I Got the Hookah. I got the tonight, man. So we about to get a pop in Smokey Yoki. Smokey Yoki will be every other Thursday right here at 7281 Elgahome Boulevard, on. man. We going up. We about to get it popping right now. So we'll be with y'all next week. Thanks again for joining us. And y'all take care of each other. We out. Who's saying Bye-bye. Where are you saying? Can I do Usher? You can. Oh,